السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک اسٹوڈینٹس سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ فرام دس ففٹین پوائنٹ فائیو پوائنٹ فور پوائنٹ ٹو اوکے اینڈ اٹ از آن پیج نمبر ون ایٹی سیون سو ہیئر اٹس ہاؤ فار از اے نیئرسٹ اسٹار الفا سینچری فرام دا ارتھ ان کلو میٹرز سو دا نیئرسٹ اسٹار دیٹ از فرام دا ارتھ دیٹ از الفا سینچری اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ اٹس ڈسٹینس ان کلو میٹر سو دا الفا سینچری از ایٹ اے ڈسٹینس آف فور پوائنٹ تھری لائٹ ایئرس اینڈ وٹ از اے لائٹ ایئر دیٹ از اے ڈسٹینس ٹریولڈ بائی دا لائٹ ایٹ اے اسپیڈ آف تھری ملین کلو میٹرز ان ون ایئر دیئر فور ڈسٹینس ان کلو میٹرز ول بی ڈسٹینس ٹریولڈ ان ون لائٹ ایئر ملٹیپلائی بائی نمبر آف لائٹ ایئرس so that will be i know that the distance traveled in one light year is 9.46 into 10 to the power 12 kilometers per light year into 4.3 light years from here light year and light year will get cancelled out so the answer here will be it will be 9.46 into 4.3 multiply by 10 to the power 12 kilometers so it will be 40.678 into 10 to the power 12 kilometers so if this is the distance of alpha century from the earth now the next topic is why do the stars appear to us like point objects that means why the stars that we see in the sky they appear as point object that means very small okay so the stars much like our sun are celestial bodies we know that the stars they are also the celestial bodies since sun is also a star okay which continuously emit heat and light which is emitting heat and light continuously okay just like the sun the star they are continuously emitting the heat and the light our sun is a medium sized star it is neither a uh, small nor a big it is a medium sized star it appears bigger to us because it is nearest to the earth uh, just because it is near to us that means that is the only reason that it is appearing big to us okay the stars appear to us like point like this um, point uh, points because they are very very far from the earth okay so the reason why the stars they uh, they appear to us like point object that is because they are very very far away from the earth most of the stars are so much far away that the light from them take millions of years to reach the sun okay so what is the reason for the stars to appear like point objects because they are very very far from us and some of them are so far that the light from them they reach us that will take millions of years okay now here is appear to be changed the distance between any two stars not change when viewed from the sun now stars are moving away from each other at a very high speed however when viewed from the sun the distance between them does not seem to change because they are very very far from us see it's being said that the stars they are moving away from the each other okay but when we are viewing that from the earth we don't see that moving away we just we are not able to see that just because they are very far from us has any change in their distance uh, will not become so perpetual in few hundreds of years right so why do the stars appear to move from east to west okay it is because the earth rotates from about its north south axis from west to east due to this relative motion all the heavenly bodies appear to move from east to west since our earth that rotates north south that is axis from west to east. since our earth that rotates from west to east so due to this relative motion all heavenly bodies they appear as if they are moving from east to west okay now there is why does the pole star that is the polaris or the dhruv tara not change its position in the sky so what is the reason for that this is a pole star that is known as a dhruv tara okay so this is the earth it is axis no the pole star is situated in the direction which is directly above the geographical north pole of the earth's axis thus its position relative to the earth does not change and it appears stationary okay since it appears about the geographical north zone north pole sorry so that is why its position that is relative to the earth it's not changing and we see that it is stationary it appears to be stationary because of that now the next topic is the constellations so what are the constellations a group of stars which form a recognizable pattern or shape is called a constellation so what is constellation is just a group of stars they are which are forming a recognizable a pattern that can be recognized right 
or a shape that can be recognized okay so that is a constellation astronomers have divided the whole sky into it eight constellations so since we know that there are bilkul um, uncountable stars there are present on the sky okay so but the constellations they have divided that um, constellations into 88 constellations okay each constellation is assigned a name of the object to which it closely resembles so the name of the constellation is based on the shape or the object which it closely resembles so in ancient indian astronomy the constellations were known as nakshatras उनको नक्षत्र बोला जाता था इन द एंशियन टाइम ओके अ फ्यू ऑफ द प्री प्रोमिनेंट कॉन्सुलेशन आर डिस्कस्ड बिलो सो सम ऑफ द दीज कॉन्सुलेशन आर डिस्कस्ड बिलो एज दे आर एटी एट इन नंबर बट सम ऑफ देम आर गिवन बिलो फर्स्ट वन इज द उर्सा मेजर और द बिग डिपर और द वृहत सप्तऋषि दिस कॉन्सुलेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेवन ब्राइट स्टार्स ओके अरेंज इन अ पैटर्न सम वन रिजेंबल द शेप ऑफ अ बिग बेयर सो दैट इज नोन एज अ बिग डिपर because if you could see it resembles the shape of a big this bear the stars marked 1 2 this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and 7 represents the body and the stars 5 6 and 7 that represents the tail of the big bear the head and the paws of the big bear are formed by some faint stars which are not shown here in the diagram okay because this the seven star they are very bright the other one they are some faint ones okay the urso major constellation can be linked to the following objects it looks like an oversized lady in which stars 1 2 3 4 form a cup of it is a ladle not a lady sorry and stars 5 6 and 7 form the handle the stars 1 and 2 at the end of the this ladle are called pointer stars as they point in the direction of the pole star it looks like a question mark now the second this link that is it looks like a question mark suspended across the sky where the stars this 1 2 3 and 4 form a curved path and the stars 5 6 and 7 they form a straight line part of the question mark now the it it also resembles a kite having a long tail the ursa major is visible clearly in the northern part of the sky in the summer months between april to september now the second one is the ursa minor or the laghu saptarishi or the dhru matsya ursa minor constellation is also a group of seven it is also a group of seven stars similar to that of the ursa major however the stars in ursa minor they are closer and dimmer okay and differ as compared to the stars of ursa major they form a outline of a ladle or a kite at the tail of the ursa minor is a star of a average brightness it is called the pole star or the polaris In Indian astronomy, the pole star is called the Dhruv Tara. Ursa Minor is clearly seen in the northern sky in July in summer. Okay, so this is the uh, this uh, position of the Ursa. This is the Ursa Minor, and this is the Ursa Major. Okay, so I think that's all for today.